Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my little uh, tiny workshop over here. Um, I think I'm going to answer at least 20% of everybody out there who had this Dreamcast problem of that their game stopped working. All of a sudden, you know, you play it one day, the next day it's not working. You, you know, you get all these things like the laser is too old or you need to replace the laser and you need to readjust the laser or you need to turn the Dreamcast sideways or upside down all this craziness and I tried all of that and none of it worked okay so I'm almost thinking I need to go find uh, Dreamcast is gonna work for me I even checked the date the date um, supposedly a manufactured date after 2000 won't let you play backups or whatever and I found out that it's after 2000 a certain date and that's what I'm trying to play is my backups because we moved a few times and luckily I made backups of, of the games that I own but the ones that I didn't back up the originals got scratched so here we go um, I can't re-break this Dreamcast okay uh, I, I don't want to do it anyway but I can show you what I done to fix it okay here's the problem when you Turn on your Dreamcast. I'm gonna open this top up right here, right? I'm gonna, actually gonna show you what I've done. It's not it's not like trickery or anything. When you turn on your Dreamcast and the lid's open, you'll get this screen. Okay? Thing jumping around, file. You try to go to play and get off the dog. And uh let's see. Go to play and then get this insert disc. This is my problem right here. The insert disc game disc. Now look, I try to Google it, look it up. Well, the issue with mine anyway was that when I try to close the lid all the way down, nothing happened. But when I close it halfway, which I gotta go back to show you, like halfway like this, all of a sudden I get this screen. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And you can hear it working. And then next thing you know, you got the, it, the icon moves to play. Now, of course, my hand's holding this down, and I don't have an assistant. But if I push play, it'll work. Okay? Open it back up, and now it's, you know, going crazy again. Well, here's the fix, guys. Take off all the screws at the bottom. Okay? There's only four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay? Make sure all the... I guess you got to make sure all the cables are at least a... I don't even know about the controller actually. Let me just try to pull it off. Okay. Well, considering it's just me here, um, like always, I uh, I'm gonna pull this AC plug out. Okay. There we go. Sorry guys. I'm sorry for the wobbly camera action, but. Hey, I'm going to save you a lot of time. You just take that top off, all right? And here is a trigger for the CD open, CD close mechanism. Depending on how old you are and if you got kids around, I mean, be honest, you can just literally tie this thing down, glue it down, whatever, and you're smart enough not to point your eye at that laser right there, and you can just, your Dreamcast will work perfectly. Otherwise, my assumption of what happens is this little mechanism on your Dreamcast um, top actuates that little controller. Well, over time, I think that one of those gears gets ahead of itself. And then that's the reason why when you have it closed, your Dreamcast assumes that there's no disc in because it thinks that your lid is open. So. All I did, I didn't do a thing, man. I just put this thing, I took it off, and I put it back on like such. Okay? I didn't screw it down yet, and I don't think I ever will, because, you like they said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm going to put the AC back in. Uh, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to turn this off, because it was already on for some reason. And I'm going to pop my Dreamcast game in here. Now I think, like I said, if my theory's right, then the only thing that happened was the gear got ahead of itself. Okay, everything's in, Dreamcast on, screen. Now, 
considering this is 45 minutes ago a non-working Dreamcast. I hate this phone. grinding noise of the laser and bada beam bada boom I've got a working game alright so four screws take off the top choose your option put it back on you can tie it down whatever it takes and you have a working Dreamcast on. 